biscuit. I got my barbecue shoes on. I'm gonna smoke me a bag of brisket. I got my barbecue shoes on. I got my natural case. I got the hogs on the Welcome to BarbecuePitBoys.com. Today we're going to show you how to cook up some barbecue ribs at the pit and how real easy it is to do. All right, I have two racks of ribs, both different. That's a loin back or a baby back. And here are the spare ribs, right? There are different parts of the ribs, obviously, right? The spare ribs often have more fat, and uh, whereas the baby backs have more meat. Their growth great at the pit choose either or they make some great barbecue ribs all right now what we're doing here is removing the membrane that's on the back of these ribs right and you just uh, get underneath the membrane get some paper towel and pull it off you've seen us do that many times before in our videos right it's kind of easy to do and you do that because the membrane is real tough now here we're adding some rub choose your favorite barbecue rib rub um, and you uh, you evenly spread it on both sides all right now we're gonna take these four racks and we're gonna put them in our smoker oh man now you can do this on a kettle grill indirect uh, we have many videos about that but here we're using a Colossus smoker and we're gonna place them in there at about 250 degrees Fahrenheit and we're looking at about five hours about five hours to do these ribs so uh, it makes a great day for kicking back cooking up some ribs the chickens can't wait now here we're throwing on our fire some uh, wood chunks those happen to be apple <laughs> and of course we got plenty of time to do some work at the pit now we're about a uh, couple hours into this. We're going to rotate. And uh, you want to do this to get somewhat even cooking, although this smoker cooks very evenly. Not all smokers are the same, as some of you know. So you can do the rotate a little bit. And during the smoke, about every 45 minutes, why don't you hit it with spray here. We've got a little bit of vinegar and water. And we want to keep those ribs nice and moist. All right. Oh, man. All right. Now, we're about two and a half hours into this uh, low and slow. right? And um, we've got some sauce because we're going to sauce these ribs. We're heating them up on the heat lid. And now... What we're gonna do to make these real moist and tender, this is often called the Texas cheat. And uh, we're gonna use some heavy duty aluminum foil. And we wanna thank uh, Reynolds Aluminum for providing us this uh, 18 inch width heavy duty aluminum foil. Works great around the pit, right? Um, so here we are uh, adding some sauce. Now, you could add just a little more vinegar and water or maybe a shot of beer or something like that. We're going to start saucing and we're going to wrap them in this aluminum foil. Now, what this does is further tenderize these ribs a little bit more. Right? And don't always go by those, uh, those barbecue societies or whatever they call themselves that there's only one way to do ribs no there's hundreds of ways to do ribs enjoy it all right now i guess we could move this along a little bit but kind of enjoy what we're doing right here right <laughs> easy gonna be good you can see how heavy duty this uh, reynolds aluminum wrap is right you don't have to worry about punctures or tears it's perfect for the pit. Thank you, Reynolds Wrap, for sponsoring us. Again, you make a day of it, right? 
That's the whole idea about kicking back at the pit. Family, friends, cooking up some ribs. All right, enough of this. I think we showed you how to do it. We're doing this for the newbies, right? How to do ribs. It's not rocket science. Just do it. If you've never done before, go for it. It'll be fine. All right, now back on the grill. We want to do this for maybe 45 minutes. You want to be careful, right? Because in a way, we are steaming these ribs. And uh, so we probably want to go about 45 minutes, again, at 250 degrees. And this is what they look like when we pull them out, because now we're going to finish them off, right? Which means we're going to... Um, we're going to smoke them now another few, maybe 45 minutes or until they look just right. Oh, yeah. See? See what the foil does, man, to help with that uh, tenderizing? Oh, yeah. Now, take a look at that. Now, we're going to sauce it again. We're going to finish these. You can see the bones... Uh, the meat pulling back from the bones on the spares and the baby backs. These are gonna be good. Alright. I say it's time to eat. We're going to be eating good tonight, Martha. Take a look at that. You can see how both the uh, spare ribs and the loin back or baby back ribs cook kind of the same way. Right? Now, this is optional, but sometimes we like to put a little bit of our rub right on top of the ribs before serving. Right? You could sauce them up some more. Oh, oh, oh. Can you smell that? It smells good. Moist, tender. Look at that. Whoa. I told you this was going to be easy to do. Now, throw some more sauce on if you want. We like them real sticky. <laughs> and as always, we do apologize for eating in front of you like this, but we call this Pitmaster Pit. So the next time you're looking for a recipe for your pit, check out barbecuepitboys.com.